The Minds of Mandalore. It's episode two of season three of The Mandalorian. Don't really know why I'm watching this show again, because I was going to stop after season three's premiere. Apparently it's getting cancelled. Pedro Pascal barely featuring in this season as well, and it's just not that good. I, I'm not a greatest fan of Star Wars ever, but you know what? Some stuff intrigues me, like Obi-Wan and Anakin and all that good stuff. The Mandalorian did for a bit, but at this point, I don't know. I feel like we're just beating a dead horse. But guess what? When I watch something, I do not stop watching something. But we do kick off the episode with the mechanic, Pelimoto. And uh, yeah, basically Mandalorian's like, right, I need a few parts. And then she's like, no, 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 not happening. And then like the wee, uh, the, the Raiders are like, no, the Jawas, we do not have any of these parts. Amigo, Pedro, we cannot help you, son. And then he's like, well, you know what, then, uh, all right, I'll just go to Mandalore, the mines of Mandalore. He takes a drone off her hands as well, so maybe I'll get that wee spaceship sorted. But we go to the mines of Mandalore, and that's pretty much, right, where this um, episode takes place. You've got Grogu and him, and yeah, R5-D4, so it's not quite RTD2. RDD2, that's what, his, that's what his name is, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what uh, it is. But when they get there, it turns out the mines are actually safe and all that. But I don't know, it's like, see, watching this, it just feels like such a struggle. And I don't know, it's been like three months, two and a bit months since this came out, season three. So I am a wee bit um, late about this whole stuff. But Grogu here isn't exactly spectacular or, or is he because guess what he starts flying about like the wee mad bastard that he is after mando ends up getting like captured by this like creep creature that's like a robot but like it's like a humanoid at the same time he, the, there's a few other things in these caves i believe uh alamites but he ends up getting battered i mean he, he tries to use the dark saber but it's not exactly um happening but it turns out in here it is safe so of course, once he gets back to the other Mandalorians, he will, he will be fine. He has went to the the caves of the Mandalore, the mines. He will be okay, amigo. But he ends up getting captured by a spider tank with an organic guy, brother. And now, yeah, not looking good. He basically gets kidnapped here, and now, now due to this, big Mandalorian, big Pedro is not looking good. So Grogu heads off to the big Caresi's castle and he's like I need help his little green face appears and she's like I don't want to help you man though because she can't see Mandalorian because obviously he's not there and then she's like alright I'll help the wee man and then they get there she fights off the big spider with a humanoid eye we're safe we're all good now we are safe in the hood um, and then pretty much after this they escape this like location the mines um, and then they're like almost they're almost getting like shot at broke down Ceci or whatever Creasy she was right all along about this the Grogu is pretty good his navigation skills are alright I guess and at this point I'm watching this and I'm just thinking like where can this where can this show go if we're being like brutally honest about it like where where, where can it go because Grogu it seems like it, well, it ages like Yoda so therefore like, you'd have to wait like 800 years till he's like what one year old essentially in our time and yeah, right, he's he saved himself here, now the Mandalore, he's not cursed, there's living waters, I've been baptised again, I'm a proper Mandalorian, I'll never take the mask off, so pretty much what you're saying is, we'll never see Pedro Pascal's face. The show's clearly got its issues, man, and uh, yeah, he gets baptised, they manage to escape, but then Caresi's castle... Uh, ...gets blown up, or don't we, does it get blown up? Or is that the start of episode 3? That might be the start of episode 3. But pretty much, um, Caresi here has also been baptised. And funny enough, she doesn't take her mask off till we get back to the Mandalorians in the next episode. But that is the minds of Mandalore, guys. There are a few. Not exactly spectacular, but you know what? I, I mean, I was never in love with this show. But you know when you're watching something and, and, it, and it just feels like a chore? This feels like The Walking Dead after like Negan kills Glenn that's what it feels like to me it's just lost all its appeal 
And uh, yeah, that's the bottom line, guys. But until next time, leave your thoughts down below. I'm going to give you a 4 out of 10. Peace.